Hello folks and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I'm Absurdities here in the Lamentable Space Hut. And I uh, apologize for not putting in an episode yesterday. I've been trying to pass some time here to get a little cleanup done and prep done for the next uh, steps. Uh, I also thought about doing this, which... Uh, as soon, oh, that's an unreachable build. That's a problem. Uh... Because this is something I thought I'd throw together. It's going to be a little... It's going to be actually a crappy little cage for some shine bugs. I thought about using uh, the, the radiation from the shine bugs, as someone recommended, in order to get rid of germs. Because the germs are mostly gone from around here. Except for right around in here. So that's what I'm trying to do with that. Uh, also, started clearing up some space over here. Um, I just remembered I wanted to make these ranches bigger as well. I started moving things over here. So let's actually route that ladder up through there. And I've been separating some of the um, exterior areas off into sections that can then be kind of cordoned off to be used with Atmos suits, which I believe I queued up. Yeah, we have, uh, there's an Atmos suit right there. We got... Five more to be made out of iron, if, once we get more iron, I guess. Uh, and what else is going on? There was an egg here for... for a different kind of uh, hatch, but maybe it's disappeared now. Where'd it go? It was one of those smooth hatch uh, eggs. And I don't know where it's gone now. Uh, anyways, there's a shine nymph egg right there, actually. If we copy this into here and also put a critter drop off and we'll probably just put two shine bugs in there and have a go with that let's speed it up a bit i also did a, a fair bit of digging i opened up some space so some dracos could get out uh, some chlorine has been floating around which uh, served the purpose of just destroying some of the germs that were floating around because we did have quite the slime lung problem but yeah, I've passed, I don't know how many cycles, I'm going to guess around 20 since uh, since the last episode, just trying to get things done. And it's at a point now where we're running out of out of stuff to do uh, or dupes are going idle, I guess, is is really what's happening. Uh, trying to dig out some more of this stuff and trying to create a an area around the thermal nullifier to uh, to contain some hydrogen in. Uh, I don't think... Can I demolish that? I can. We're going to make a little room here and we'll fill it with hydrogen for better... Um, well, what am I trying to say? Better thermal transfer between the hydrogen as opposed to with oxygen. Yeah, so that's that's what I've been up to. Now we're just waiting to pass some more time. Uh, I do want to get this on the go. I uh, have a little hiccup there. Critter egg. Shine nymph egg, please. Yeah, I wonder what happened to that guy. Because uh, it's only... Yeah, see, there was a smooth hatchling egg somewhere. Because we've discovered it. But it's only the sage hatchling eggs I'm getting rid of. Maybe it didn't make it, the poor guy. Maybe he starved. Because uh, we didn't have the right kind of food for him. I don't know. We'll keep an eye out for it next time. And we'll try and get rid of some of these ladders on the other side. There we go. <laughs> Good catch. Um, I, yes, I'm just taking buildings out. We'll leave the wires in. We'll take the last of those. And then, yeah, I think I'll kick it out and add some extra space. Um, what are we looking at for size? 81 tiles. So four, eight, uh, 12. Yeah. 12 and 81 is 93. So four, eight, 12. Here, it'll it'll go something like this. Uh, 
yeah uh yeah and uh eventually here i want to get the dracos uh, ranched up as well and that will be a, a definite benefit to uh to the base because we can start getting those uh the ones that drop plastic i forget exactly what they're called doing a little exploration up through here and also needing to mine some more iron so let's queue that up there was another big chunk of it somewhere i mean there's iron there this is copper through here I'm less concerned about that uh yeah i guess that yeah and i uh, uncovered the other a e t n and uh, it looks like we got the top we got the vacuum of space out there so a little bit uncovered one other thing i found was down here you can see some neutronium so there's another geyser of some kind underneath there and i just have that queued up as a reminder of where it is uh down below things are mostly walled off here for this cold biome and i'm letting the weasworts keep it cool uh not a whole lot going on there i've pretty much stopped going down until we can get uh, the atmo suits uh working and instead of having them exit off the side of the base like this i think i'll probably do what i was doing up here and just have a little area which they can get out and use the rest of the space for other things I'm not sure what i'll put in a three tall area but that's what i decided to go with for the very top is three tall yeah it's uh, i've already played about an hour of this so i'm already going a little bit brain dead we got lots of skills going on here i think given <clears throat> yeah your morale is maxed out here so we're not going to spend any of those we'll just start accumulating partly because um i need a lot more decoration to happen and that's something i suppose i could queue up i mean we have all this can we not maybe we should just make them all discus thrower guys plate chucker here redo that one make them all plate chuckers there we go how are we looking for that anyways decor is really good in here it's really bad for out here uh we could do what could we do is there like a wallpaper oops what would that be under even not even sure uh anyways this critter shine nymph shine bug priority seven and we have the egg in there and then uh there was one floating around somewhere maybe that is the one that turned into the egg and then died i would expect so so let's find one that's not too old you're 13 or 25 okay wrangle you uh i've had <coughs> pardon me food production turned off this whole time as well and uh it's still we're basically out of all the good food which is probably why morale is tanking a little bit but we have 83,000 kilocal of muck root and uh that seems like a lot i'm gonna go ahead and erase these two so that water can come out of there and why are why are you not working there's no power to you did i remove your power wire no i don't get it oh i don't have it i don't have it hooked up then how was it pumping before that's confusing Alrighty then rebuild them Oh, and there is polluted water on top of those. I should just mop it then. Yeah, there we go. So the idea being there'll be a couple of shine bugs in this restricted area, which should emit some rads down into all of this stuff to kill germs. I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, I don't know if this is something people do or if they just, you know, use other methods, but I thought I'd give it a try just for funsies. Uh, can we get that wrangled? 
maybe with some urgency. Oh, and yes, we got uh, three more hatches, hatchlings up there. I ended up destroying a whole group of, of hatches because uh, we were getting too many, so... Uh, here we go. Wrangle... Seven... These were for, uh, from a... A print, obviously. Yeah, another thing I want to get on the go relatively soon is uh, making, uh, if not steel, then at least getting a refinery going. So, I got a manual water cooler is what I'm calling it. And it's basically ice sitting in bins, and these ones are maxed out to two tons, so they will eventually warm up and release their water. But uh, I just wanted to spread them out, and then there's a main storage here. Now, I do have a mod that increases storage, so there's 200,000, or I guess 200 tons worth of storage in each bin. Uh, and that's great. So what I'm going to end up doing is probably just pumping this water out at 60 degrees into here, at least some of it. And, uh, I don't know, we'll just, we'll just go with that. Why don't I just carry that on right up here? Oh, we do have the analysis complete here. Yeah, eruption period, 304 seconds every 685 seconds. And the next activity is 9.8 cycles. So that's going to start doing its thing again pretty soon. I feel like I should try and keep some of that heat in. But really, if it heats up this area, that's not the biggest deal. I mean, it's already hot, to be sure. Yeah, it's already... yeah, it doesn't matter. It is already too hot. And uh, it's not going to get into the base, at least. So, waiting for this to get done. There we go, and he hatched. Beautiful. Good timing, little buddy. There we go, we have a little bit of radiation down here. And is that having any... Ooh, it doesn't look like it's actually having any effect on the germs. Oh, it does when they're over it. But uh, there might be too much of a, a mass of germs to actually purify that. It's going down. Except for when they're, like, far away. Then it starts ticking up again. So maybe one more? You're cramped already, though, with two of you. That's a little sad, isn't it? And how did this happen again? Okay. I guess the other thing was to circulate the water. So hopefully remove the germs from the polluted water that comes out here. And then have it dump off here. But that's going to be like a million germs in there. Well, I could, uh, I could push this water away. We'll see if it makes any difference at all. Oh yeah, of course, we're dumping we're dumping the water right on top of there anyway, so it's just not what I was thinking. Let's deconstruct that tile. Put another one there and another one there. That'll do. We're gonna push the water off here. So technically, yeah, there's only two tiles tall of air for them, so there's 18 tiles. Yeah. 18, 20, 21 tiles. Not a lot of tiles. All right, we'll do that. So maybe, maybe via circulation, we'll, we'll make it, a, a, I don't know, a disinfector out of it. I find that maybe a little unlikely, but we shall see. Uh, the other option here would be to replace a tile here with, uh, with a mesh tile and just allow it all to pass right through. What do we got going on here? 
A pip squeak. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I love pips. Look at it. It's so cute. But also, they're super handy. Where did this come from? Did someone drop some ice or something? I have no idea. We'll just mop it up anyways. Well, look at you guys down here. What are you doing down here? Well, we have a number of stone hatches. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five stone hatches? No, there's got to be more. Well, plus the eggs. The eggs count. So, yeah. We got to get this top done, and then we'll blow out these. And we should be actually a tile too big after we do that. 4, 8, 12, 16 on top of, what was it, 81 is 97. So yeah, we'll have to uh, pop a tile maybe in the top corner of each of these. That'll do. Actually, that's it's going to take them a while to get to that. So let's just put it on the other side. Like so. Uh, there's some germs in there. I don't think we need to worry about it. On buildings only. There we go. Beauty. Okay, that's coming along. Oh, so there's three in there right now. Yeah. Yeah, you would be credited. But... I don't know. This this is obviously not very effective. What? How did a Paku get it? Has he always been in there and I just didn't notice it? That's probably the case. Yeah, I think, I think he was in there long before. I might move this to the other side here. So we're going to remove those two. Move this guy over. Because so we're not using it. And it's just going to be in the way for what I'm thinking right now. Uh, also, temperature in here was, yeah, quite low. So. We could probably use this water as some coolant in the near future. I don't think we'll need to, though. I would like to get the germs out of it, though, because it's bad. Uh, it's actually gone down from a million, though. It's gone down a lot. How, how did that happen? It's literally just at a million germs. Oh, there's uh, food poisoning and slime lung there. Huh. Oh, it's, the, it's on the sandstone. I get you. I get you. Research, I basically stopped doing the, the the research ahead stuff with the, the more basic forms of research, as you can see these bars filled up. Because uh, when, it, when it comes to the radiation research, I really don't want them standing in it for, for more time than is necessary. So if they have to go and do a different form of research, that's going to keep them out of it for a little while, which will be nice. So other than that, things have gone pretty well. We're, we're starting to tread down on food, finally. But it's going to take a while. We're still getting frost buns. We're still collecting wild food. So that's going to happen here and there and everywhere. Where is more iron? Tiny bits in there. That stuff there. There's a nice chunk there. Nice copper over there. And lots over there. I don't know how we how we sitting on that, I guess, is the question. Do I want to punch more for our suits? We got 24 tons. Let's do 40 crafts then. And try and get Atmos suits. Now I don't know if it matters if you make them out of iron or copper. 
because I could just do them out of copper. I don't know, but I have decided that I'm making them out of iron, so we'll see. It's 300 kilograms per. Oh gosh, maybe I will change my mind. Meteor shower. Maybe we'll get to see a piece. But it feels like we're much closer to the top than we are to the bottom. Seems that way to me. All right, little guys, purify my water. I mean, they're doing it. They're not happy about it, but they're doing it. And it's not enough rads to really worry me. 91 rads per cycle is mostly safe. Every time a dupe uses the washroom, I'm told they lose 100 rads. So, uh, but they will get sick at a couple hundred rads. Thank you very much for providing me that information in the comments. I definitely appreciate learning more about the game from you guys because I'm I'm just not familiar with a lot of a lot of stuff these days. So, little pipsqueak, you're kind of trapped there. Um, I have a thought for you. And maybe we'll make it work here. One thing we're going to need to do is uh, put our Atmos suit dock. Where is that under stations? Atmos suit checkpoint. Uh, o to rotate. Yes, R O. Tate. I'm thinking we make it a park every time they leave. <laughs> I don't know. I might do that. Do that and then um, the dock. Oh yeah, the dock's going to take stuff too. I think we're only going to have three suits. I think we'll manage with three suits to begin with. And this is going to cover this area and this area up here and this area over here. We won't worry about down below for now. What is this? Just more outside? Um, we could go find out what's going on over here. That should do. And I think we will have a jump up here. Oh, that is the wrong. That was a wrangle. <laughs> yeah, we'll start doing that. Keep it simple. Down to 200k. Hundred and eighty K, two hundred, and there's the million and three million. So it's like all the the germs are mostly sucked down here now. So maybe by circulating we're actually gonna come upon something. And you can actually see the difference in, in gradient. Way more yellow over here. So we do this, we fill, uh, move the water a bunch, and maybe eventually it just uh, is clean of all that crap. Uh, it does make me think I would like to put some tiles there. I kind of want to get this slime out of here. Yeah. We should, uh, we should knock knock on the door. see what happens here comes someone no no you're not gonna knock knock on the door just delivering all the rock well it is necessary too you gonna knock on the door no nope. nope just clean it up here we go knock 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 Knock, knock. <laughs> Hi. Hermit recruitment progress. 
process of recruiting this building's lone occupant involves the completion of key tasks. Okay. Initial contact was a success. Our new neighbor seems friendly, though extremely shy. They'll need a little more coaxing before they're ready to join my colony. Okay. Deliver food to the mailbox. Deliver three unique food items. Quality must be great. Plus four or higher. Wow, do we even have... Oh, displayed object. We probably don't even have any left right now. No, we got pickled meal, nutrient bars, and muckroot. So, uh, good food is not exactly on our menu right now. Uh, amazingly, we're not getting any stress, so we're kind of riding the bleeding edge of that right now. Um, we're going to disable that right now. Just until we're ready to go with it. This thing requires emptying. Fair enough. I might get rid of that now. I think we'll do that. And I stopped digging down here. I figured we'd wait until we have the Atmos suits at least. And uh, yeah, we'll probably come down through here. Down to here and then out. So it'll look something... Wow, well, there'll be a, a little gap there. And this will just sit there for the time being. Eh, the germs are going up again. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to move you over here. And I might let them range a little farther to the left here. I mean, partly I've kind of removed some of their, some of their space to disinfect, haven't I? So that kind of makes sense. If they're shining the rads on this, they're not purifying the water. Strangely, even the water in on the tiles here is not getting their germs lessened. I don't know, I think I can get rid of these. As much as that was some effort to put in, I don't think it's doing us any good. Temperatures overall 30 degrees in parts of the base down here where you've got some machines and such. Um, and uh, this is getting quite cool in here, so I'm going to add some warm water to this point, uh, which I meant to really start building, so why don't we? Liquid pump. We'll put it there. Out of copper, maybe out of gold. Plumbing, liquid pipe, overheat temperature, plus 50, sure. And, <clears throat> pardon me, we'll let it pick up whatever heat it wants in, in the outside here. Actually, it doesn't matter, yeah, just, do we even want sandstone pipe though? Probably not, probably throw granite on it, because there's probably granite laying around here. Igneous granite. And we'll be making use of this water in another way later on once we get this thing going. Which is part of the plan too. Um, two, three, four. I want to take some of this out. I think we'll just do this. And that should be enough for the moment. And uh, we'll probably site our thermal nullifier, not thermal nullifier, our, uh, our spawn in here, I think. And how are we doing in here? How are these looking? These are looking good, 96 tile. So we should be able to go up to eight critters. Oh my gosh, they're all... <laughs> it's a chorus of 
sleeping hatches. Colony achievement earned. Yes, we probably had a couple of these. Turn of the century. Uh, reach a cycle 100 without at least one living duplicate. So that was a little while ago now. Now it's back up to 800k. This is really confusing. The liquid here is going down. In germs. Huh. Uh, really, it's it's probably way more efficient to circulate it through um, some some chlorine areas. So maybe I'll just do that and let these guys be free. That that would make more sense. Way more sense. It's not like I haven't done that before. Uh, okay, so we would need some liquid reservoirs. Maybe we'll just build it over here. Three tall is all we'll need. That's, that's probably more than enough space and... Do I want to do a liquid lock? I mean, I, I really don't at this point because I don't have suits. Let's get some fried mushroom. I'm not even, I'm not even looking at the dupes. Is fried mushroom enough to go in here? Apparently not. Okay. You could use some strength. Oh, a little sweet larva running around there, too. Good for you guys. Just live out your life. I don't know why I did that. Okay, liquid reservoirs. We're going to need, I think, four of them. Uh, what are you from? I don't even know, man. I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what you are from. You're the output from that guy. Okay, we're just going to move you over there. Although, I mean, I could just use it. To make a liquid lock right don't you just need one dot right there and then that would that would do it i think that's the case yucky lungs yes this is this is a bit of a problem and why i want to get the suits going but there's just so much going on at once right now i'm making these out of gold scrap that Scrap that, man. Not necessary. Let's do five, just for security's sake. Yeah. Definitely not an effective way. Uh, they're just probably not strong enough radiators. Radiators. Not strongly enough radioactive enough. In fact, the little guys don't do a whole lot. Maybe when they grow up, but I, I'm, I'm doubtful. We'll just do this. Okay, when we get some liquid coming down from the washroom use, we'll just have to be quick about disconnecting. So I don't, I don't need a ton of water in there or anything. Back more water is less good so we'll remove that for a minute and we'll speed it up because I want that to happen sooner than later well here we go no oh, it all got absorbed into the filter it's fine it's a lot's coming Oh, 
There we go. Just mop that up. Build a tile there, and then this should stop the movement. It's only 32 grams, so actually, yeah, and oh, uh, yeah. Polluted water is not the best use because it could off gas, right? And disappear, especially 30 some odd grams of it. So I might change my mind. In fact, I might move it down a tile here. Way to go, Stinky. Yeah, the the one thing is we have enough gas in here that it's it's not allowing this to off gas, so maybe it's fine for now. Maybe it's not. I'm just gonna get rid of that for a second. Why did I do that? Reasons. Raisins. Okay, there's not a lot of gas in there, but I guess what we're going to do is... Oh, and that's the other thing, too, is... Oh, high-pressure high gas vent only takes iron and stuff. I thought it took plastic. Maybe it did back in the day. Because a normal vent's not going to work out in this area. Maybe it'd work right around the... It might work right there. But it might also come back inside. And I th don't think I'm going to automate this. I think I'm just going to let it do its thing. But we're going to turn this low threshold to 5, high threshold to 10. Although, <clears throat> this is going to take a lot more. So I think I'm going to go 1 and 2. And if we set them all the same way, it should work out. So... Liquid's going to come in, and it's going to come out, and ladder, out and in, out and in, out and in. Come on. Fingers. And then out again. And this should be clean water. So this was going to be the point of this area over here was then I put in a zone where the water can climb to a point. So hopefully purify all this and then have it dump over the edge and we'll drain from here. I mean, or we just store it. That's the other thing we could do. We could just store it, clean it, turn it into, uh, turn it into clean water because it won't have any germs. That could be the other thing. It's going to take a lot more power to do that. But, I mean, it makes sense. Rather than dump it back into a crappy situation. Um, oh. So out of here. Into there. Out of here. And then it's got to go all the way around to here. Or there. Which might make more sense. Even though we're just dumping it on top. I think what I will do in the short term. Until we know this is working. I will just dump it back on top. Oh, no, this is the clean stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to dump it out here. I just want to know that it's clean. And then we can work on the rest of it. Nope, hello. And then we're going to go up from here. 
into there. Sorry, right, I was going to remove that. Oh well. Yeah, things are coming along here. I did realize you do need plastics for the high pressure gas vent. What are you doing? You're idle? That's just not allowed. Uh, let's keep digging somewhere, maybe. Do we want to dig out this biome? I mean, not really. Which biome do I want to dig out? This one, probably for the iron. Yeah, we'll dig out that stuff. I don't quite understand why they wouldn't <clears throat> put stuff away, but that's probably down to priorities as well. Yeah, they should always be able to do it. All right, we're waiting on a little bit of iron, and I'm running out of time here on this episode before it gets too long, so I'll bring you back in a couple minutes. So. Okay, I am getting some of the gas out of there. It's kind of having a minor overpressure situation but there's not a lot of gas in there so I'm hoping we'll get it all out and pull a vacuum in there after which point I'll get rid of that throw some bleach stone in there and get it ready for fluids yep oh this is not hooked up right of course it shouldn't be hooked up perfect perfect oh all is well Or we're very nearly out of gas in there, but uh, in the meantime, I decided to replant. We're down to just muckroot oh, and omelette, I guess. We had a little green egg come out. So, uh, yeah, so I've replanted bristle blossom and uh, the mushrooms so that we don't get left with, like, zero food, because that'll go before I know it. Uh, I'm just afraid of running out of food and killing dupes, so I'd rather start now. Uh, this is actually down to 20,000 germs on this side. Which is interesting to me. Yeah, I don't know, I'm down with that. And we're very close to pulling vacuum here. Down to the MCG level. Micrograms. Like a thousandth of a gram, something like that. And I believe we're just about to pull vacuum in here. It's it's just finding its equilibrium. It's down to like six MCG on the left side here, five. And then eventually the game will just go, oh, okay, that's a vacuum. And get it all out of there. Is it all is it all gone now? Vacuum. Unbreathable. All because of this little dot of water is, is forcing is making it so that gases can't exchange through this tile. Now this is not a good idea with polluted water. It can off gas and you lose you lose its mass and then it will just dry up basically. Um, turn into gas. So not a good idea. But we're gonna take this out now and its infrastructure. And uh I will get the uh the, the what is it? The chlorine. I'll get the chlorine in there. That's what I'm doing. Chlorine. All right, this is set to take 200 kilograms of bleach stone, which I think hopefully should be enough. And uh, as soon as it gets in there, it should start off gassing, but uh, I just get him to move it there. And then um, I'll probably just close up this space entirely. I think that will do. And then I'll turn this off and it should, it's already filling up with chlorine gas actually. So that's, that's good. Uh, turn that off. And it will just off gas until it's a nice sterile atmosphere in there. I think we can probably do a test run with some water now. And it is going through. Now we have polluted water at 28 degrees 
How germy is it? I thought you could tell. Liquid pie. Okay, yeah, 16,000 germs of food poisoning. Liquid reservoir. Status. It's not storing anything right now. Okay, anyways, I see polluted water going through at 28 degrees Celsius with no germs, 10 kilograms at a time. So, um, uh, also, just like to point out that the germs are mostly gone from, they are gone from here. So this end is, is somehow almost purified, but I think we can stop the, the flow of water through there. If we go into here, get the old snipper, and just force it all to go straight through. Loaded water at 28 degrees. I'm not seeing the germs, though. Where is the germs? I'm, I'm missing something. Liquid pipe. Here we go. 10, 10 kilograms. Yeah. 10 kilograms, 16,000 germs. Oh, they still have 16,000 germs coming out. So they're not stopping for long enough. All right. I forget how I used to set this up. But it, it had to stop. It had to stop in these liquid reservoirs uh, in order for the chlorine to take effect. Now, there's only 33 grams in there, so there's not a lot of chlorine yet. Uh, I will play with this and get it working and bring it back for that, I guess. Or I'll do it in between episodes. Why don't I do that? Because uh, we're 47 minutes in. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, appreciate you. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, more contraptions coming up, and uh, we'll just learn together, because I'm so rusty at this stuff. Uh, a lot of this I'm relearning. Yeah, that'll be it for now. Cheers, folks. Have a good rest of your day. Bye for now.